Green Bay Packers are one of the most intriguing teams in the NFL because they had their Hall of Fame quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, recently lead the team to go to New York, right? Which left Jordan Love to be the new heir of the Green Bay Packers. And after sitting for three or four years, this man seems to be the truth. He actually seems to be that guy after all. It wasn't looking pretty in the beginning of the year and his very first year starting. But it turns out Jordan Love might be the truth after all. The truth after all. That was a tongue twister. And I'm a big fan of Jordan Love. But outside of that, the Green Bay Packers don't really have that good of a team. I mean, they have Rashawn Gary. They do have Jair Alexander. But, I mean, dude, this team needs some help. So that's why I have been hired today to help fix the Green Bay Packers. First order of business is we need to get Jordan Love some wide receivers. I mean, Christian Watson, some people think I'm not high on, on Christian Watson. I'm just going to keep it a buck. I am high on Jaden Reed, however, so I'm going to move him up to wide receiver one, but that doesn't really matter because we're going to go trade for an elite wide receiver like right now. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to, uh, I'm going I'm to test free agency. I'm going to see if there's any elite wide receivers in free agency, and we really don't have that many big signings that we need to resign. So that's cool. I will resign or I will pick up the fifth year option for Eric Stokes. I'm going to let AJ Dillon walk. Um, Darnell Savage, I will resign you actually. I'll, I'll definitely resign you for sure. Okay. Chris Jones hit the open market. Amari Cooper hit the open market. And these are, <laughs> these are two players that really want to play for us. Uh, Jalen Johnson, Michael Pittman actually intrigues me a lot. If we can land Michael Pittman, honestly, I might be moved here. Outside of that, uh, we, don't, we don't really need, uh, I mean, we need much, but none of this is really going to help us. I'm going to try, I'm going to try and get Michael Pittman. I'm going to, I'm going to get Michael Pittman a nice little deal here. And we're going to see what happens with that. It's, uh, the offer's really not that high or it's, it's, I thought it'd be a lot higher. And Chris Jones, honestly, we don't, we don't really need Chris Jones. Let's just see if we got Michael Pittman and we did okay Michael Pittman so maybe we don't need to trade for a uh, wide receiver maybe we're chilling with Michael Pittman maybe we draft a wide receiver maybe we just let uh Jaden Jalen Reed cook so before the draft this is how the team is looking but as you can see we do not have a running back my god Pearson is a 37 overall he is our starting running back right now he is a fullback and he is our starting running back so oh my god we need to get a running back we, we need to get us get us a running back here and we're not gonna have a high draft pick yeah pick 25 is uh not really ideal but we're gonna see what we can get Are there any top oh my god there's a lot of quarterbacks some free safeties um next running back is gonna be what probably round two to three okay honestly i'm gonna do something really sweaty here and i'm just gonna trade i'm gonna trade away this pick i don't really like who's on the board here oh i could get the raiders for should i go with the raiders should i go with the vikings honestly i might go with the raiders jets first round pick no i think i'm gonna go with the raiders first round pick i feel like the raiders are gonna be so mid but the vikings could be really bad too but they might still have kirk cousins in this universe so i'm gonna go with the raiders bro oh my i'm gonna go with the raiders first round. hopefully the raiders are just absolutely ass and there is this left in here in round two um i'm not really gonna look too much into this he's a left end we could definitely use an edge rusher and uh, he's a normal def okay all right let me we have another second round pick and i think i'm gonna go with the i'm gonna go with the running back here not a not a highly talented running back class but dion pruitt four three five oh my this guy might be a stud wait now he might be a guy he might be a guy let's see okay he's a receiving back he de he's definitely a receiving back yep that's his archetype potentially a catching potentially a catching traffic hey yeah oh yeah he, bro he might be the next alvin Kamara. this is gonna be aaron jones's replacement okay i am moved okay we did lose aaron jones in free agency to the minnesota vikings actually in real life Deion pruitt is gonna be that guy for us in the third round honestly i might just go a cornerback here um terrence coleman you're probably not gonna be anything special but uh i might as well just take you he's a hidden dev okay you know what i don't, I don't want to write terrence off before he plays a snap he's a hidden dev he might be a guy we're hitting on these mid-round picks i can't lie and i forgot to set the draft classes to to strong too so like this is literally just straight up a master class okay Pruitt's only a 73 honestly that's kind of sad coleman's a 69 bro what okay i got cat i loki got catfished i loki got catfished but it is what it is it is what it is getting into our very first season this is how the squad is looking and honestly i'm hoping pruitt has a big year uh, i'm hoping honestly everybody has a big year but what i really want to do uh, this might surprise a lot of you um I i'm gonna try to trade jair alexander i'm gonna try to trade jair he's only 27 but i want to i want to see what i can get 
I, I want to see real quick what I can get for from him. The offers move me, then uh, okay. Why would I want Aaron Jones, guys? If the offers move me, then I will uh, I'll think about it. That's there's, there's Aiden Hutchinson right there. Puka, oh Puka, hold on. Oh wait, oh wait, hold on, hold on here. Puka Nakua in a first round pick. 2026 so that would be not this year but next year and a fourth rounder for jair alexander i did not know jair was that young to be honest i thought he's gonna be like 29 but puka i think i'm gonna pull the trigger here i'm gonna pull the trigger I i'm puka nakua how can you say no to puka one of if not the like one of the best rising stars in the league one of the best young wide receivers in the league and i was just talking about how we needed to trade for a wide receiver earlier in this video and that was before we got michael pittman but now we have michael pittman and we have puka nakua so that now the offense is looking like this puka nakua is your newest green bay packer number 86 that totally does not look like puka but he is a superstar after his rookie year oh god i am i forgot i think i traded for him in one of the in one of the rebuilds i did earlier and dude my god he was a stud so i'm, I'm gonna do that again michael pittman still gonna be a stud um but that leaves that leaves a gaping hole um no pause gaping hole in the cornerback department for us and also my god we have a white safety that is scary to not notice that so yeah we have some problems on defense we we have some severe problems we have to fill but in the meantime i just want to see jordan love progress that's really all i want to see and of course you know the drill here boys you know the drill you know the drill let's go change the playbook to cowboys and let's see what should our scheme be should we go spread oh 95 percent. yeah we're going spread we are we are going spread no doubt about it i'm expecting jordan love to have a really big year honestly i'm gonna say mid-season i'm expecting him to have an extremely impressive year and just look at that we're six and one at the mid-season point <laughs> we're exceeding expectations um definitely i'd be i'd be lying if i said i was um not surprised we were doing this good would you look at that jordan love is first in the nfl in passing yards with pretty much 2000 12 touchdowns two picks oh my god let's see brew it Pruitt is cooking. Let's see. What is his uh, development? He's a star. Okay. That's fine with me. I'm uh, not, not mad about that. Puka, 600 yards. Let's see. Oh, Pittman. Only, he has 400, but he's trailing Musgrave and Jaden Reed. So do we do, do we need Pittman? Maybe we don't need Pittman. Jaden Reed is cooking. Um, we're going to see how this goes, though. Got some players ready to negotiate. We do have a lot of cap. And oh my God, I forgot we have to sign Jordan Love. We do have to sign Jordan Love. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not upset with giving a QB1 some QB1 money. Um, he's having a phenomenal year. I'm going to lock him up before he really has a good year. We, 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 we got him locked up. Kenny Clark, he's 28. Damn, he's, he's young too. I thought the Packers were a lot older than, than what they really were. Uh, speaking of that, yeah, David Boxy is really old he probably just wants a one-year deal yep and i might like kenny i'm gonna let kenny clark walk I, we don't have a lot of cap to mess to be messing around like this but hey shout out my boy packers four i know you've been begging for this video for a while and if you guys you know let me know what type of rebuilds or what type of content you want to see in this channel and uh, i'm gonna try to get it i probably wouldn't have done a packers rebuild until a little a little while from now but my boys packer four one to see it so the, the packers i mean this rebuild's coming going uh, extremely well so far so hopefully this should be a fun team to rebuild all right well i might have spoken way too soon because we fell off a cliff and finished nine and eight um i'm a little worried i see jordan love is at the top of the nfl in passing yards so he is slinging the rock 29 touchdowns eight picks pruitt k okay. oh barber barber at 10 tutties oh my god he got the jamal williams treatment Braden Barber got the J Jamal Williams, the goal line treatment. He had no yards. We had 10 touchdowns. Jordan Love actually had a lot of, a lot of rushing yards. Uh, Puka, 1,307 touchdowns. Jaden Reed, 1,108. And Michael Pittman, 906. I might try to trade Michael Pittman. I'm not going to lie. I, I I'm, I'm thinking about trading Michael Pittman and letting Puka and uh, Jaden Reed cook. So I assume our defense is the reason why we're losing all these games. Uh, let me go to stats. What was our defense ranked? Okay, offense was ranked fifth. Defense. Defense 13th. Okay, so a little above average. Uh, what about points given up? Points scored, obviously, that's a lot. What about points given up? We are 22nd. Okay, so that's not good. That is definitely below average. And we're playing, okay, W script. W script, we're playing the Cowboys. Very first round of the playoffs. We've seen this movie before. We have seen this movie. Okay, so Jordan Love's up to an 86. Uh, Puka, 89. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, not too much to really recap right now. I mean, we got the white safety. Uh, what, Z Anderson, Zach Anderson, Zane Anderson. Okay, my boy Zane Anderson. But yeah, defense is probably getting carved up to be honest. Coleman's actually kind of kind of cooking. He's a 73 overall. He's risen up. But yeah, let's get to this playoff game, man. I don't think we'll have the same amount of luck just because the Cowboys are so overpowered in Sim that I, I it's gonna be ridiculous. I don't think we're gonna uh, we're gonna win, but we are winning. Not for long though. 713. Um, Jordan Love's kind of cooking though. 14. 21 okay 21 21 he's kind of holding his own 24 21 okay 46 seconds left we're down by four we're on their 32 yard line jordan love can you can you conduct a master class here can we can we can we beat the cowboys in the first round back to back years in the playoffs there we go okay i don't want to score too quick here that might sound too greedy but i, I just i want to be smart here um oh my god was that to Pittman? that was to Pittman. yeah let that clock chew oh my god yes let you got puka in the slot please jordan love awareness Awar jordan love awareness 14 seconds please oh my god puka there he is puka get in the end zone please oh my god we're down at the one please do not run the ball my god jordan love do not run the ball please don't 10 seconds yes please pass just don't get sacked jordan love jordan love to Jaden reed oh my god w script holy script writers cooked the script writers cooked i did not believe i am sorry i am sorry i doubted you jordan love i i did not see the vision i thought the cowboys would just be too op and sim oh my god jordan love snapped wait no he went crazy 37 for 42 357 and four Dak had a pretty solid game too i mean it's expected our defense is really bad pruitt did okay puka did his thing. Musgrave with two touchdowns. Okay. Jaden Reed, obviously, had that one touchdown. Pittman had a touchdown. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't trade Pittman. Maybe I shouldn't trade Pittman. Oh my God. Script writers are cooking. Like, we're literally going down the same exact path as the, as the Packers did last year. And this one, I literally have zero faith in. 7 0. Please prove me wrong, guys. Prove me wrong. 7 3, 14 to 3. Okay. 20. Okay. 21 10. All right. Uh, let's not slow down here. Okay. 24 10. Oh, God. 24 17. This is where we choke isn't it oh my god should i just keep being a doubter because i think it's working i think the boys are, are are they're feeding into my disbelief and they are just cooking jordan love 27 for 34 i mean jordan love keep keep balling man keep balling pruitt doing okay i mean puka, puka doing his thing Pittman doing his thing musgrave is cooking postseason musgrave I guess it's a real thing because he is balling. And I guess Jaden Reed kind of took the kind of took the game off today. And so did Christian McCaffrey. My God. Now, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to hop on the bandwagon. Like, I, I'm I'm not going to do it. Not yet. We're nine and eight. Job's not finished. Job's not finished. That's we got some massive upgrades with Rashawn Gary and Jaden Reed. This is go to the Super Bowl. Nine and eight. Green Bay Packers, obviously, against the 12 and five. Division rival, Detroit Lions. Now, what I'm not going to do. Yeah, I'm not going to hop on the bandwagon. Um, I don't think we're going to win at all. Seven nothing 10 nothing defense is was doing their thing 17 7 um and if you forgot we could have traded for aiden aiden hutchinson in the offseason we we elected not to do that um and so far it is looking to be in our favor 31 okay my god we are headed to the super bowl in our very first season this is hilarious 31 to 28 <laughs> what is going on jared goff actually kind of cooked obviously jordan love cooked though just god man pruitt 68 yards a touchdown let's see what did puka have puka 135 and two touchdowns pimmon 162 in the touchdown oh my god what is going on i mean the, like what what are we doing man this just master class is all around and oh my god this might be the most underwhelming super bowl of all time if you're an nfl fan but as a Packers fan, you got to be happy. The team heading into the Super Bowl. <laughs> Jordan Love is already a superstar. He's an 87 overall with plus three morale. In year one of the rebuild, Puka's a 90. Uh, Musgrave got a death trade upgrade. He's a 78. He's been balling. Playoff Musgrave has been a real thing. Defensively, Rashawn Gary's an X factor. Kenny Clark. Oh, we're letting him walk too. I, th I think so. And I don't know why Lucas Van Ness is not playing, but we'll figure that out in the offseason. I don't know why Kenny. I think we let Kenny Clark walk. Or at least we were planning on it, and we might have to re-sign him after this, if that's the case. Rashawn Gary is an X-Factor. Oh, you love to see it. Zane Anderson still holding it down. Still holding it down, man. Oh, my God. They have Kirk Cousins. Oh, my God. Wait, they have Kirk Cousins. They have Max Crosby. Dude, this team's actually comp. 
Wait, this team's actually cracked. I'm kind of I'm kind of nervous now. This team actually... Oh, actually, no. This team's just really top-heavy. This team is really top-heavy. Devontae Adams is regressing. Josh Jacobs, they still have him. He should actually... Wait, oh my god. He should actually be on the Packers. Oh my god. I forgot. Wait, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot Josh Jacobs is on the Packers in real life. Oh my god, this is actually... Could be, this could be so depressing if, uh, if we lose and Josh Jacobs has a master class. Guys, don't expect me to do these rebuilds with, like, the new players on the team's like unless because i bro i i don't remember i don't remember who the packers signed like i want to be honest with you unless it's like a they trade for a big player or something like i, I don't i'm not gonna remember that this is really gonna bite me in, in, the, in the ass i already know it all right you know what last thing i'm gonna do is hop on the bandwagon here that's the last thing i need to be doing we're no good we don't deserve to be here seven nothing seven seven okay there you go see we, we just don't belong here man 14 7 21 7 yep there we go raiders scoring um they're gonna score again um okay all right all right minute left in the game can we get a stop here and potentially get the ball back i mean we have all three timeouts uh they're gonna run the ball here and play it safe oh my god josh jacobs there we go stop him jordan love do we have what it takes man do we have a little bit of magic in us oh my god this is a terrible punt that's a terrible punt pook has 116 and a touchdown today man he's so good 55 seconds guys can we do it can we do what we were not supposed to be able to do in year one whatsoever jordan love okay hitting Pittman. there we go Hey, that's all we need. Who's our kicker? Yeah, Carlson. Every okay, yeah, Carlson. Sure, yeah, we're uh we're near his range, I guess. Um, do we want to run it again? Don't tell me the lights too bright, Jordan. Jordan, don't tell me the lights are too bright. There we go, Musgrave. Playoff Musgrave. Let him cook. Okay, just don't don't get too greedy here, guys. Don't get too greedy here. Yep, there we go. Okay, don't don't take a sack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't take a sack. Thank you. Good God. Don't take a sack there, Jordan. Oh my god, we're kicking the field goal. This actually this is far, bro. Oh my god, that's this is actually far. I don't know if he's gonna be able to make this. Please, Carlson, don't sell us, bro. Don't. We're a kick away. Carlson, we're a kick away, brother. Please. Please, we're a kick away. Nah, I, 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 there's, I have no faith. I have no faith. There's no way. Oh my God, he made it. Oh my God, we were, a we were a destiny team. No, we were actually a destiny team. Year number one. <laughs> Year number one, we peak. No, we're, we were a destiny team. This is absurd. That. This is ridiculous. This should not have happened in year number one of the rebuild, but it did. I'm a terrible GM. I'm a terrible rebuilder. There is no way we just won the bowl in year number one of the rebuild. Oh my God. Jordan Love gets the bowl in year number one. Gets, him, gets himself a ring. Does what Aaron Rodgers hasn't done in the last like 10 years. Oof. Three touchdowns, two picks. The lights were a little too bright, but they were a lot brighter for Kirk Cousins. My God. One tutty, two picks. Let's see. Josh Jacobs. We could have used him. We, we could have used them, but hey, I'm not going to change what happened. I'm not going to change anything. Deion Pruitt, my guy. Michael Pittman, 152 and a tud. Puka, 116 and a tud. Jaden Reed. Okay, you know what? Did his thing. I mean, he couldn't get all the yards with uh, Puka and Pittman taking over. And there is Jordan Love winning Super Bowl MVP. My God, I can't believe we just did that in year number one. I, I actually can't believe we just did that. All right. Um. Yeah, so Kenny Clark, he is, uh, I'm going to let him walk. I, I am actually just going to let him walk, man. He did his thing, but yeah, we're, we're going to let him walk. Zane? Oh, we got to resign Zane. Nah, bro. We got to resign Zane. We got to resign you, bro. We got to resign Zane. He was the glue. He was the glue guy. The guy that made it all happen. Oh, God. So winning the Super Bowl actually makes this, this, this rebuild potentially a lot uh, more tricky because how do I upgrade this team? What can, what can I do? Nick Chubb? No, I'm not going to do that. Zach Martin, he probably just wants a one-year deal, right? We have no cap. I, I really can't even do that. I can't be a big spender in free agency. I just can't do this. I mean, how much am I giving? Oh my God, I'm giving him so much. Good God, I'm giving him a lot. I'm giving him... So I'm oh my God, I just gave him a lot of money. That was actually filthy. There's a chance he doesn't even come here though. There's actually a really realistic chance he does not come here and he doesn't okay that's fine we, we we don't have that much cap room anyway bro we can get graham glass now for a lot cheaper and yeah he's gonna sign here i'm just gonna try to sign these uh these cheaper these cheaper uh free agents we don't need a wide receiver uh don't need a left end i couldn't maybe try to get dj reed i wouldn't be i wouldn't be opposed to this at all actually i kind of like that signing if he please does sign here and he does oh i like that signing a lot the 85 overall 28 year old we do need a cornerback i'm fine with that okay so we have two first round picks this year but they're both literally the last two picks in the draft 
or first first round i mean the last two picks in the first round can we use a safety um we do have darnell savage chris davis though we do need another running back pruitt was the guy oh he might be a stud oh my god yeah he's faster than pruitt oh my god i'm sorry pruitt i'm sorry brother i'm sorry brother but i gotta do it and he's a normal dev oh my god okay oh oh i might have whiffed i might have whiffed severely uh, we'll see though. We'll see. We'll see. I'll take a scheme fit uh, free safety. Dude, oh my god. My my picks are disgusting. I mean, I guess something has to go wrong in this video. I mean, we we could win a Super Bowl in, in year number one. I'll take a right outside of the linebacker. Let's see. Physicals aren't terrible. He's a speed rusher and finesse moves are a B, stamina A. I mean, why not? What's he got to lose? What what's Shaq got to lose? We actually have a trade offer for uh, Christian Watson. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. A, a star strong safety. You know what? If you want Christian Watson that bad, you can have him, sir. You can have him, Rams. I mean, the Rams are just like, we're making a nice little uh, first puka. Now we get this star safety. Let's see. Davis is a 75. So he's uh, pretty high overall. He's just not a, a hidden dev, unfortunately. Same for this the, uh, strong safety. And yeah, we do get a hidden dev, a left guard. And like this, what, what round is this? The third round round uh cpu cooked oh my god did cpu cooked okay i'm sorry zane but we were gonna have to i'll, I'll make you corner I'll, ma I'll make you uh strong safety too but unfortunately we do have a new uh a new strong safety starter well no i can't even make him uh cb2 because we got this uh the strong safety from the rams so zane's gonna have to be strong safety uh number three on the depth chart unfortunate we got a trade offer for romeo dobbs and uh, any stars we get oh. the patriots just want to trade with us for some reason i mean i might as well uh Dobbs isn't playing, so yeah, why not? All right, this squad is looking solid, man. I, I can't lie. I am excited to run it back with this squad. Puka 89, Pittman 89. God forbid I were to trade Michael Pittman. What would those trades look like? I, I'm just curious. I want to see uh, how the league values Chris uh, or Michael Pittman, I should say. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I wasn't going to do it. I was not going to do it. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it, guys, but are you kidding me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Michael Pittman, thank you for all your contributions. Thank you for everything you've done for this city, for this team, for this organization, for me, for this video, but I, I can't say no to that. Well, we turn Super Bowl champion Michael Pittman, our free agent signing before the year, into Bijan Robinson, hopefully a future Super Bowl champion with the Green Bay Packers. Only star dev. That's kind of crazy. I mean, I don't know if he's usually a star dev or if he's superstar, but hopefully we can get that up soon because he, this man is always a sim demon. He is always a 99 overall superstar X Factor by like year three or four or five. Hopefully he follows that, that script, that arc. Okay, middle of the year, we're three and four. Did we press the panic button? Probably not. I'm not too worried. We'll see uh, Jordan Love. I see him at the top. I see him right there. He's always going to lead the league in passing yards. You can count on that. 12 touchdowns, three picks. Bijan with 446 and six touchdowns. So he's he's doing his thing. Jaden Reed. Okay. Potential uh, wide receiver one. Okay. We are not missing Michael Pittman at all, I guess. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Well, yeah. I can't panic. I can't panic about the boys, man. 11 and six. We figure it out and we win the division. We get to the host, the Seattle Seahawks. Jordan Love, 39 and 11 with 4,200 yards. Bijan, 1,214 tutties. Okay, Puka. 1200s oh my god okay i don't know what happened with Jaden reed he was off to a such a strong start but uh i mean puka puka does his thing is he superstar x factor maybe no but he's a 94 overall i mean no dev trade upgrades yet bichon has gotta be close bichon has gotta be extremely close because he's at 89 overall with only a plus one morale so his true overall is an 88 he should yeah he should be getting a, a, a dev trade upgrade soon. All right. Well, let's say actual blizzard. So hopefully this is a Bijan game. Um, let's see. Three, nothing. Ten, nothing. Uh, the blizzard's definitely stopping the Seahawks from scoring. Uh, well, just jinxed it. But okay. I jinxed it again. 24, 10. Oh my God. We stopped the Seahawks on the goal line and we go and score. That's beautiful. Wait, no, that's actually beautiful football. Oh my God. We are playing phenomenal postseason football. Um, okay. Seahawks uh, had Geno Smith for one play. I like to go with Denzel Williams. I would play Jordan Love. Uh, Pruitt has 13. Okay, we're, we're having like a little committee here. I don't like that, but uh, B. John 58 and a tutty. Jaden Reed, 122 and a touchdown. Puka, 135. Boys, where's playoff? Where's postseason Musgrave, 26 
Yeah, he, he didn't really do anything. Well, next round is going to be the New York Giants. They're going to come to Lambeau. But in the meantime, Jordan Love gets an upgrade. Going to put him up to a 92 overall with a plus five morale. Oh my goodness. He's still a superstar. Wait, this is actually super random though, but I want to see where... Oh God. Okay, the Raiders are 12 and five. We took their first round pick. We have it this year. Hopefully they don't make the Super Bowl again. So I at least have a lower draft pick. All right, let's see. No Blizzard this week in Lambeau. Um, hopefully that means Jordan Love puts up a way better numbers. But as of right now, it's not looking like that. It's three nothing and I'm gonna be uh, okay. We get a stop ten nothing. Okay um, Giants score touchdown. We are also gonna we're gonna score field goal and we stop the Giants with no time left Oh my god, we almost got sent home. We almost got sent home. That is scary. That was really close Jordan love is not playing the most Professional football that he's ever played. Uh, it's kind of scaring me a little bit. Saquon still in the Giants in this universe 77 yards Bijan 72. Puka 69. Yeah, I mean, that not really much is going on on offense, but very defensive game, and I am all for it. And we trade Jair, and our, our defense is still elite. And would you look at that? We get to run into the Dallas Cowboys in the NFC Conference Championship. Okay. Chances are they still have the same exact team. Yeah, they, they literally have the exact same team. I mean, it, it's, nothing's new here. All right, let's just... I'm ready to get absolutely... Um, Stick down by the Dallas Cowboys. 13 nothing. Yep, there we go. 13 nothing through one half of play. And uh, yeah, defense finally. Defense finally has to let him score. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening? What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? Oh my god. Wait, the, the Cowboys were literally about to score. And they didn't. Fourth and one on the five yard line. Dak threw an incompletion with 30 seconds left. That was the game. This was literally the game and Dak sold. How poetic. He had a pretty mid game, but so did Jordan Love, bro. Jordan Love, are you saving your best postseason game for the Super Bowl? I would love it if you uh, were. Uh, Bijan, 92 and a tutty. His best game of the postseason. Um, and obviously not much is going to happen on offense because like... Dude, Jordan Love's passing numbers are down. But we do all this to face off against the Baltimore Ravens in the Super Bowl in 2025. And yeah, Lamar won MVP. So we're going to face off against the MVP himself. And Jordan Love actually finished fifth. So not bad at all. Before we check out the Baltimore Ravens with the checkout the Green Bay Packers and Jordan Love is a superstar X Factor along with Puka Nakua but first let's go over Jordan Love who's a 93 overall with a plus six morale he's finally a superstar X Factor started off this rebuild at a star and he's now a superstar X Factor with two about to be two Super Bowls under his belt B. John is still surprisingly a star dev uh Puka Nakua of course 96 overall traded Jair Alexander for this man and my God, was that worth it? Was that trade worth it? Because I think it was. And defend, oh my God. Harden is a superstar X Factor, bro. He doesn't even start. Oh my God, Harden, you have to start. Oh my God, Harden's a superstar X Factor. Holy smokes. We have two superstar X Factors on defense, one superstar. Oh, this is beautiful. Love to see it. All right, now let's check the uh, the Baltimore Ravens. What are they going to have? They're going to have a God squad, aren't they? They're going to have an absolute God squad. Lamar, oh, yeah, Mark Andrews, Roquan, Marlon Humphrey, Kyle Hamilton. Yeah, this team is loaded. What's their offense looking like? J.K. Dobbins and Zay Flowers. Okay, so offense isn't terrible. It's just Lamar is just him at the end of the day. Um, he's going to make any offense look amazing. All right, Lamar, just do it. Just do it to us. I'm I'm fully expecting him to do it to us but uh 14 nothing okay do i keep being negative 14 3 21 to 3 oh my god wait no defense wait defense keep cooking 21 10 okay yep lamar's making his last second push oh my god no yes yes oh my god we just went back to back what is going on with the green bay packers how why are we becoming a dynasty I'm, I, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know how we're doing this. We go back to back in the first two years. That is insane. That is literally absurd. It was a nasty game. Uh, Jordan Love, 215, two touchdowns. Let's see, Bijan, 42 yards. Bijan didn't really cook as much. Puka, 79. Super Bowl champs. I don't know what else to say. Another Super Bowl MVP for Jordan Love himself. And wow, another Super Bowl for the Green Bay Packers. We have the most cap we have had this video. We have 85 mil in cap. Okay, we're gonna have to accept, accept Bijan's option. Um, I think I'm gonna let Eric Stokes walk 
Marcus Jones, I might resign you. Uh, I mean, if I'm gonna, ch yeah, Eric Stokes is normal dev now. I think, I guess I'll try to resign Marcus Jones. Give him a nice little uh, two year deal, wouldn't hurt. Eric Stokes, unfortunately, you're gonna have to walk. Lucas Van Ness, you're gonna, I guess I'll accept your option. If you were a free agent, I was gonna let you walk. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Darnell Savage, I'm gonna let you walk. DJ Reed, we're gonna resign you, buddy. Okay, or not. Maybe we do need to resign uh, Eric Stokes because DJ Reed's not coming back. I think I'm, I I might resign Darnell Savage. Yeah, that, that's going to be it. That's going to be it. That's all I'm going to resign. Are there any big boy free agents? And I see a few. I see Tyron Smith. I see Debo. I'm, I'm going Marcus Williams, actually. Screw that. We did just sign Darnell Savage. Nah, we're going. We're going Marcus Williams. <laughs> I'm getting Marcus Williams. Um, hopefully, he does not do any of those, uh, pull any of those shenanigans um, to me like, like he did uh, seven, eight years ago. Hopefully, it does not happen. Hopefully we're done with those uh, playoff moments. And hopefully he is a Green Bay Packer, baby. There he is. Superstar, free safety. Beautiful. But now I have the ability to, if he messes up in the playoffs, bro, you're done. You're cut. You're traded. Do I have a kicker? Uh, I do not have a kicker. Okay, Harrison Butker. We need a kicker. My, I might as well sign you. But I think this is going to be it. If I uh, get Harrison Butker and I do, I think I'm going to walk out of free agency. Okay, our first pick is round one pick 15. But a round one, ooh, a cornerback or a left tackle here? Uh, th this might be in play. A pressing. He's from Bama. Okay, he's from Bama. Um, it's, He's a slow cornerback. Um, broad jumps pretty high. So it's pretty lanky. B catching, B zone coverage, B to D man. I honestly might go with Nick Holloway. Get a nice little CB1, hopefully. Hopefully he's hitting Dev and he is. Oh, he might be a stud. Wait, no, he actually might be a dog. And our 32nd pick in the first round. Um, I mean, I mean, this is pretty much the second round. I'm, I mean, I might as well. I guess I'll take this left outside linebacker. Why not? Gilbert Logan. It's not going to hurt. I mean, I, I just really didn't know who to pick. Oh, a left. Oh, there are four left tackles here I could I can mess with here. Would we go with the LSU prospect? He's a top fit, actually. What about this other guy? Pass block. Oh, oh, wait. Now he might be it. Now Juan Abraham might be him. No, he's not. He's not him. Draft recap. Holloway is a 78 overall. Love to see that. Oh, my God. Wait, he's, he's actually going to be a dog. All right, year three of the rebuild. Can we go back to back to back? We couldn't do it. Spoiler alert with the Cowboys. We uh, lost to the uh, three-peat opportunity. But we have a chance to bring that back and avenge myself. I mean, dude, this team is... Uh, Darnell Savage is dropping in overall. Marcus Williams, I forgot he's on the squad. Thank you for reminding me, Marcus. The defense looks a lot better with Marcus Williams there, I will say. I was getting kind of worried with Darnell Savage, but I'm, I'm liking where things are headed. And I'm liking where things are right now because we're back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions. Let's just sim to the midseason point. Let's just see where things are. Okay, we're four and two. Um, not bad at all by any means, but it looks like the Detroit Lions is obviously going to come down to us too for the division. Um, and for the NFC title, to be honest with you. We did beat them in the conference championship one of those last two years. So they're definitely a, they're definitely a threat. Let me stop the yapping. Let's see. Oh, God. Jordan Love is not in the top three for the passing leaders. That's scary. He's second in touchdowns, though. That's actually kind of scary. 17 touchdowns, seven picks. Seven picks is scary. Bijan doing his thing per usual. Puka doing his thing per usual. Jaden Reed is all the way down here. Wix is uh, kind of stealing his mojo right now. That's, uh, I don't really know what's going on here, but, uh, I'm just gonna let, I'm, I'm just gonna trust the process here. I'm not gonna do too much changing. And Musgrave is still a 81 star def. Damn, I thought he was in a, actually, I thought, it, was he not a superstar or am I tripping? He, I don't know if he was a superstar or not at one point. Maybe not. Let's just send him to the postseason. Hopefully, hopefully, actually, wait, let me see. Players ready to negotiate. I know Bijan's one of these players. Let me lock up Bijan real quick. We have a, so, oh my God, Puka too. Oh God, I forgot Puka. Maybe Bijan's not one of these players. Puka definitely is. And for some reason, he does not want to resign here. Puka, why do you not want to resign here, pal? I'm giving you an absolute bag. And okay, this, this happens. This happens every time with an elite wide receiver. I mean, it happened with CeeDee Lamb. It's going to happen with Puka. Quay Walker, please resign with me, buddy. Thank you, Quay, for being a real one. Um, oh, Jaden Reed. I might trade him. No, nah, wait, I actually might trade him. No, nah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to resign him. I'm going to resign him and... Okay, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let I'm gonna let everything else just play out. And yeah, we finished 14 and three. I mean, was I ever worried? Was I ever worried? Uh, I mean, there's Jordan Love with 50 touchdowns. Oh my God. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh my God, I was worried about this man with 17 touchdowns and seven interceptions. He goes for 50 and 12. Okay, all right. 
All right. Oh my God, Bijan, you are disgusting. 1,615 touchdowns. What is Puka? Puka! Oh my God. No, 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 no. That's not right. What? 26 touchdowns. Puka had 1,600 yards, 26 touchdowns. What? What the... F what the f excuse what the fuck i've never seen that many touchdowns what the f <laughs> nah that's, <laughs> that's crazy bro i can't even lie that is crazy nah okay Jaden reed i'm definitely letting him walk dontavian wicks 80 overall sure buddy you're you're next up i mean if you're gonna get any uh if puka's gonna give you any targets my god there's no way that puka didn't win offensive player of the year and jordan love didn't win mvp there is no way those two things do not happen and wow my god we're gonna we gotta face off against the detroit lions in the divisional round that's not really uh ideal all right is Bijan up to a he's still not a superstar Bijan, what are we doing brother yeah i don't know how Bijan's not a superstar like that just doesn't really make sense whatsoever but uh, uh lincoln finally is a star dev wow i was not expecting this uh, i thought he was gonna be a bust but he's star dev Love to see that. Let's just, yeah, let, let's just talk about the elephant in the room. Let's just see what the uh, division rival, Detroit Lions, let's see what they're doing. Let's see what they got cooking over there. I imagine it's the same exact team as uh, in real life. And I am right. It's pretty much the exact same thing. Do they still have Jared Goff? They do. Yeah, this is literally the exact same team. Uh, they do have Amari Cooper though. That's interesting. This season will be so depressing if we end it in a one and done scenario. I really don't want that to happen. Jordan Love and Puka deserve so much more. More, but my god it is looking like uh, i mean we don't have a defense our defense is just not existent this game i guess 27 17 please score one more touchdown oh god okay that's good we're good we're good that was close very close but that's probably the best one of the best teams we're gonna play in the postseason and we just beat him in the very first round oh my god dude postseason jordan love is scaring me like why is he why is why are his numbers just low 18 for 21 is really good but other than that the yards and the touchdowns are not there but Bijan, my god i guess it makes sense why because Bijan had a master class you know what if jordan loves numbers if that's the reason why jordan loves numbers are so low <laughs> whatever that's actually that's fine with me um, Jaden Reed shows up in the playoffs and, uh, that's really about it. Puka, not so much. He's kind of just ran cardio. And speaking of, uh, Bijan Robinson, got his old team right in front of us. 10 and 7 Atlanta Falcons. Like, uh, if you just, like, you, you now understand why I am confused why Bijan's not, like, at least a superstar. He should be a superstar X Factor, but, dude, he is insane. And he's only a star dev. Hopefully, Bijan has another masterclass this uh, week because we're facing off against the old team. Like I said, Jesse Bates, Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts is a 98. That's uh, They have Michael Pittman. Yes, because we did trade. Yeah, I forgot about that. We did trade Michael Pittman to get Bijan in the first place. And do they have Desmond Ritter? They do. They have Desmond Ritter. I think I saw DJ Reed, too. I do. So, DJ Reed also was... Uh, a, a Green Bay Packer at one point. All right, well, this is the NFC Championship, if you forgot. This is the first year where we had a first-round bye, so we only have to win two playoff games to get to the Super Bowl. But it's not looking too good. 14-7, uh, 14-14. Oh, God, the, the Falcons came here to play, dude. They do not want Bijan to be great. Oh, God, they don't want Bijan to be great. Okay, please get a stop. Guys, come on. Field goal. They're going to score a touchdown. They do. Well, our backs are against the wall here, fellas. 35-28. We're going to need to score a touchdown here to force the game into overtime. Or if we want to go for two, there's postseason Musgrave. Come on, fellas. We got to get the back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. We got to do it. Jordan Love, come on. You are the man to do that. You are the man to drive down the field and throw a dot. Nope, not exactly. All right, Jordan. What are we cooking? Nice little dump off the Bijan. I'm all for that. Wait, I'm actually all for that Bijan. Don't get out of bounds. Oh, uh, maybe not, because now we have no timeouts. So that... Actually, no, we do have one timeout. Come on, Jordan Love, please. Get a first down at least. Good play. Get out of bounds. All right, um, we're going to hit Jaden Reed. Waste of timeout, probably. Nope, we're not wasting timeout. Okay, come on, Jordan. You got to go fast, buddy. You got to go faster than this, buddy. You got to snap it. Play action. We got to shoot for the end zone here. We got to shoot for the end zone, Jordan. We got to shoot for the end zone, and we do. Wicks, Dontavian Wicks. Are we going to go for two? Do we have the balls? Don't go for two. Oh, my God, they're doing it. We're going for two. Okay. Oh, my God. Wait, no. Please call a timeout. No, my God, they're not trolling. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They actually did it. This team is, this team has, this team's insane. I don't know. I, I'm going to lost for words. I can't believe this team is doing this. <laughs> I can't believe 
They actually went for two. That's that's hilarious. I mean, I, I, this team is... Uh, I, I have no words. This is the Jordan Love that I know. I mean, not exactly. The two interceptions are kind of gross. But the 337 and the two touchdowns, that is... Uh, that's a Jordan Love I know. Bijan, 57 yards and a touchdown. A little slight game. Nothing too crazy. Pitts, my God, Kyle Pitts had a hat trick. Pittman did have a little redemption game. Musgrave, 98. Jaden Reed, 76. Puka, 81. Love to see it, man. Just a gr gritty dub, man. And well, we have a rematch with the Baltimore Ravens in the Super Bowl. That's cool and all, but I want to see... Oh my God, actually Lamar might have stole MVP from us. That's going to be very depressing. It should be Jordan Love. It should be Jordan Love. And it's... Oh my God. Jordan Love doesn't win it. Jordan Love actually gets snubbed. Wait, no. Jordan Love actually gets snubbed. That's actually heartbreaking. At least Puka probably won Offensive Player of the Year. I would imagine that. I'm sorry, bro. I, I don't think... I don't think Lamar deserved this. Like, rushing yards. Oh my god, they have Camara, bro. He didn't even have a thousand. This is... This is highway robbery. This was actually... Jordan Love had 300 rushing yards, too. So, like, he wasn't even that far off, bro. This is highway robbery. I can't lie. This... This is... This is... Yeah. Finally, we get the Bijan Dev Trade upgrade. He's now a 96. Same with Luke Musgrave. He's an 85. Postseason Musgrave is uh, he finally gets a Dev Trade upgrade. Defensively, Marcus Williams regressed. That's not good because I just signed him. Um, other than that, I mean, defense is pretty much the exact same. All right, this is the Super Bowl. This is uh, what we've been waiting for. Can we get the the repeats? Can we can we do what the Kansas City Chiefs are looking to do? this NFL season. I don't think this has ever been done. I don't think I don't think the three-peats ever been done. Let's just get into it, man. Let's just, there we go. Baltimore Ravens are driving down the field in the very first play or very first drive. So do we. Um, it just looks like no defense is being played in this game, uh, mostly by the Green Bay Packers. 21-14. There we go. Make it 21-21. Okay. All right. Get some stops defense. Fourth and one, we're kicking it. Oh no. This is the same team that went for two to go to the Super Bowl. Nah. This doesn't sit right with me. I can't lie. That does not sit right with me, coach. We got to hold Alvin Kamara and Lamar Jackson to three points or less this drive. So that's going to be extremely hard to do. But uh, yeah, I guess you got to take your points there in the Super Bowl. Please, defense. Hold. Hold us. Give us one more stop. Please tackle him in bounds. Please good tackle. That was a massive tackle because uh, he stays in bounds and that wasn't even first down. Please, please, fellas. Please get a sack here. He's going to throw it. Okay. All right. They're already in field goal range. Already in field goal range pretty much. Um, so that's not ideal. Just keep him out of the end zone, bro. Keep him out of the end zone, please. Sack Lamar. Oh my God. He's so fast. He's so fast. We just gotta, gotta, we gotta get a turnover. We gotta get a turnover. We're not gonna stop them. They're gonna score a touchdown. Oh, screenplay. Oh my God. No, no, no. Oh my God. He just got pancaked. Good tackle. They're just letting the clock wind down. Um, smart play by them, honestly. Please. Guard, guard, yep, Camara. Oh my god, that was our chance. If we can get a stop here, we still have three timeouts and we could maybe get a field goal. Just, I don't want to be too greedy though. Keep them out of the end zone. I think they're going to run here. They're going to run. Oh my god, please. Yes, good, good stuff. I mean, what are the odds Justin Tucker misses a field goal in the Super Bowl, right? I mean, the odds can't be that high. Uh, and he makes it. Okay. All right, Super Bowl. We're going play by play here. We're going to see. They get a first down, second and three, first and ten. They are marching. Oh my God, they're marching. They're going to score, aren't they? They don't. They're going to kick a field goal. Okay, perfect. Mr. Love, all we need is a touchdown to be crowned the three time Super Bowl champs. Come on, Jordan. Please. Good block. Good block from Bijan. Oh my God. That's yeah. Okay. Mr. Love, you don't got to do too much, buddy. You don't got to do too much. You got to squat around you. Good play call, coach. Good play call. Just 71. It's just not, not ready for his assignment. Third and seven. Please, please get us a first down here. Oh, yes. Jaden Reed. Oh my God. He's not even going to be close. Oh my God. They did it. They did it. Super Bowl champions. Oh my God, a walk-off bomb. The boys, the boys. Oh my God, who got cooked in coverage 39? Jordan Love to win the Super Bowl. Jordan Love gets his second touchdown. Alvin Kamara did his thing. Bijan, of course. Wicks with the touchdown. Jaden Reed, 138 in the touchdown. Oh my God. Back to back to back Super Bowl champions. Jordan Love, third Super Bowl MVP. Puka gets his MVP or his Offensive Player of the Year, I should say. Love to see that. That was well-deserved. Still think Jordan Love should have won MVP over Lamar. I truly think that's... I mean, we, we saw... The ball doesn't lie. We saw what 
Jordan Love did in the final play of the Super Bowl. All right, well, we got to negotiate with Puka. We got to give him the, uh, got to give him the absolute bag. Puka, we're going to give you a healthy bag. Jaden Reed, he wants to, he wants to resign after that last play. I don't blame him at all. I, I, I don't, I truly don't blame him. I'm just going to give him the same exact offer. Okay, well, maybe I shouldn't have. I could franchise tag him if I really want to, but maybe I don't need to. Maybe, maybe we'll let him ride off into the sunset. Uh, Luke Musgrave, thank you, sir. Josh Myers, I'm going to re-sign you. Fill in all the holes, all the necessary holes. Uh, Elton Jenkins, re-sign you, sir. And okay, maybe not. Well, yeah, I mean, I might as well let uh, Reed walk because AJ Brown is a free agent. Do we do we try to... Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to try to sign AJ Brown. They're just, I would not be able to do that with Puka. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to get the Forrest Buckner though. Why not? I mean, might as well. We need to go for the, for the four Pete fellas. We got to go for the four Pete. I just resigned my center, but Frank Ragnall, I mean, why not? I'm just building up the offensive line here. Like literally, let's see who is going to sign with us. We have 18 mil in cap left. We're we going to go three for three. Do we go three for three here, fellas? We do. Bang, bang, bang. All linemen to being offensive, one being defensive. We've got to go for the four Pete fellas. We just have to. Wait, I just simmed an end of the draft. Wait, no, I'm actually an idiot. Oh my God. My brain is that fried already. I just simmed an end of the draft. Hopefully the CPU cooks for me. Let's see. We went round one right end. Okay. I mean, I guess so. Is he uh, is a hidden dev? I mean, they drafted me four right ends with the first four picks. So maybe the CPU was not cooking whatsoever. Oh, I guess because we don't have any right ends. So you know what? Maybe, maybe the CPU was cooking. All right. Well, this is uh, year number four. Who is Shelly? Is he a... F is is he a, a freaking tight end? All right. We have a superstar tight end. I don't want to get rid of Musgrave. And I didn't even sign. Oh my God. Wait, our, our, our wide receiver is actually awful. Oh my God. Wait, this is a disaster class. Yeah, now we got to trade Musgrave. I got to get a... I gotta get an elite wide receiver, I guess. Wait, I, this is actually a disaster class for me. Hold on. Let's see. Nobody wants this man. I get my boy Rashid Shahid. I don't need that. What about the superstar tight end? Was anybody want him? I might have to just trade one of my future draft picks for a wide receiver. I, I don't know. I, I kind of sold here. Urgh! Hold on. Do we? No, I don't want to do this. Do I do this? Do I do it for the memes? Do I do it for the memes here? Reunite Devontae Adams for one final dance? It's not smart. It's not smart whatsoever. It's not smart whatsoever. Screw it. Was not smart whatsoever. I would never do that under any other circumstance, but why not? Devontae Adams, welcome home, brother. Welcome home. We now have a water shooter too. Devontae Adams. Potentially his last dance. Who knows? The man is back in Green Bay. Packers 4. I know if you're still watching this, I know you're, uh, I know you love to see Devontae Adams back. Our whole uh, offensive line is star. Dude, our D our offense is nice. Our defense um isn't bad either by any means. It really isn't. Let's just send the midseason. Actually, before I do that, I'm making a trade. I'm making a trade. Before I uh before I sim next year's draft, I'm gonna make sure I have no draft picks. Let's let's trade for somebody. I'll go I'll go Derek Stingley. I'll go Derek Stingley here. Yeah. We'll we'll definitely get Derek Stingley. I'll throw in another first round pick, and that should be the offer. It's really close. Okay. This is worth this is worth it. I'm not gonna lie. I might be getting like I might be getting fleeced here in terms of uh draft picks, but Derek Stingley's so good. He's only 20. Six. I'm gonna do this trade. All right, now we got Derek Singley. He should be getting a depth trade upgrade soon if we have a good year. I uh, I imagine we do. Let's do it. Let's sim in the midseason point. Let's see um what the what the fellas are cooking. Well, no soccer there. We're six and zero. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. Can we go? Uh, I don't want to get too greedy here, but can we go the perfect seventeen and zero? Oh? Can we do it? Uh, I don't see Jordan Love at the top. Uh, the passing leaders, but no doubt. In my mind, is he having a good year? Uh, yeah, he's having a great year. Bijan also having a great year. Puka, everybody. Wait, let's see. What is Devontae Adams doing? Is he cooking? He's having a pretty decent year. Stingley. Uh, let's see. He has... Uh, Stingley has one interception. 16-1. and one. We were close. We were close to the 17-0. We did not get it. Oh, and I see Jordan Love. Jordan Love won MVP. There's just no doubt in my mind. That's MVP numbers. <laughs> that is MVP numbers. We will not be getting robbed this year. You can best believe we are not getting robbed this year. No doubt. Jordan Love, masterclass. Bijan, masterclass. Puka, masterclass. Fonte Adams, nice little thousand-yard season. Khalid Batten. Khalid Baton. 
Normal doubt, but he's kind of cooking. Stingley have any inter- Stingley has five interceptions, so did he get a death rate upgrade? He did! 98 overall, boys. We're going- We're going for the back to back to back. Back to back to back to back. Super Bowls. We're going for the four, Pete. Let's send him in the next week. Who are we playing in the divisional round? The Atlanta Falcons. Should I just skip this? Should I-, I I'm- I'm being so confident. I'm being so cocky here. I'm skipping this. And we lost. Oh, oh, wait, we lost. We lost. I skipped one game and we lost. Wait, Jordan Love actually kind of cooked, but Desmond Ritter is like Tom Brady reincarnated. Bijan cooked. Pittman, oh my God, Pittman. Pittman masterclass. I got to respect it. I'll tip my hat. I'll tip my hat to the Pittman masterclass. He, he earned it. He, he got it, bro. You got it. Jordan Love is MVP and Offensive Player of the Year, but at what cost? At what cost? It cost us our first uh, missed Super Bowl opportunity. And the Bills actually win theirs. Uh, Matt LaFleur, coach of the year too. Such a great year. Just went to waste. Oh my God. Bichon's a superstar. Jordan Love, superstar. Musgrave's a superstar. Or, but I, I mean by superstar, superstar X factors. Uh, Derek Singley's the only superstar. Oh my God. This team is so cracked. I'm just going to sim to the next season and I'm going to see. I'm going to see how the fellas do. I set everything to auto. So we're just going to let the CPU cook and see uh, if we can win another Super Bowl. And we finished 12 and 5. Yeah, we weren't going to finish 16 and 1 uh, every single year can jordan love get the back-to-back -back mvps though that would be something uh oh my god 41 touchdowns to one interception good god Bijan masterclass puka masterclass Devontae adams retired it seems we do uh, have darnell mooney as, as his replacement and the squad is absolutely cooking my god puka's just a straight up 99 with no morale same for Bijan. oh god dude this is immaculate this video is already long enough, so let's just sim to the divisional round. Hopefully, we make it out. Last time I simmed, we did not win, so I'm hoping we can uh, change history. Maybe we do. Okay, we win. All right, let's go. Conference championship against the Giants. We've played them in the playoffs before, and we lose this time. Well, I mean, we get our second uh, MVP. Bijan actually wins Offensive Player of the Year, but we don't get a... Uh, don't get a Super Bowl ring out of it. I mean, the two years Jordan Love wins MVP, we come up empty-handed in the Super Bowl. So maybe we should not win MVPs and win some Super Bowl MVPs. Well, I mean, I don't think I can take this squad much further. I mean, th this squad is something else. Holloway is a superstar. Stingley's finally a superstar X Factor. Rashawn Gary kind of uh, declines a little bit. But, uh, oh my God, Marcus Williams, this is now a normal dev. Uh, Harden, superstar X Factor. I mean, the boys, the, the, the Packers are chilling. I did my thing. That's going to do it for this rebuild. If you want to see me rebuild another team, I rebuilt the Buffalo Bills without Stefan Diggs. So if you want to, you know, watch a nice little rebuild like you just did, check this one out right here.